I'm super excited today because there's a new vibe coding tool called leap.new and let's find out if it's any different to any of the other ones. If you don't know me, my name is Connor Martin. I was one of the first bolt.new experts and today I just recently put one of my lovable sites for sale. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see what happens with that. But let's get into this tool leap.new. So this is what the tool looks like from the homepage leap.new and yeah, it just looks like a little bit like all the other tools, I guess with this box here that you enter your prompts. I like the way they have this little surprise me here and you can connect your own database. So if you're using Superbase, uh, you can just connect it straight away from the start. I'll say who this is for first before you get into this, I guess it's probably for people that are a little bit more technical than, than using bolt.new and lovable.dev. Really is for people who are stretching into being developers or developers who want proper backend systems, right? If you have had problems with bolt.new or lovable uh, on your backend, you want, to, you want to make something a bit more complex uh, on the backend and the logic and all of that, this could be for you. It's super easy to integrate things like OpenAI, Stripe, all those things. So let's have a look at building something now. So one of the cool things about the tool is I'm writing my prompt here and you can see it's actually auto filling it for me. So that's pretty cool that it actually predicts uh, what I'm saying. So let's try and create an open AI key because what I've been thinking about with all these tools is that there's so many tools, right? But sometimes it actually depends on the project, which tool you should be using rather than going, oh, this one's better than that one. I think sometimes we need to think a bit about what we actually want to build. So you can see it works uh, similar to many of the other tools with the code being written here on the right. You can see the folders uh, appearing there and it's telling us uh, all the different pages uh, it's creating. Okay, so we got our website here. It looks all right. Uh, it's not really actually working down there, but we'll fix that in a second, I suppose. Um, but what I like here is that it actually prompts me to enter my open AI key. Okay, so we know exactly what to do. When you click that, then we go to the infrastructure, right? And then it's, it has already set up here the secrets that you need to add, because obviously this can be quite complicated for some people with Superbase and all of that in bolt.new and lovable. So let's do that now to get your open AI key. You just go to the platform open AI to add it if we want to actually chat with our app. Okay, so I can't really tolerate this, so I'll ask it to fix it for me. Let's try this out live. The main component where I'm supposed to enter my prompts and questions is cut off and I can't see it. So can you redesign it to add some extra padding and margin at the bottom? so that I can actually input my text. Okay, so you can actually see it's doing the changes here and it's doing the diff. So you can actually go into the code and check you know, the code that's been changed and what's been added. So if you are a developer, that's pretty handy, I think, to actually know what's happening. And also for myself, even though I don't actually write any code, I often go into the code to ask ChatGPT to help me out, what's happening, all that stuff. Okay, I can no longer see the prompt box. It's not there anymore. So make sure I can add a prompt to uh, ask my coding advisor some questions. Okay, so it didn't really work the first time, but anyway, we have it now. Okay, it looks very simple and basic, all right, but I guess we can add to the design. I'll test that out in a minute now. So let's see if this is actually working. Okay, so we'll just ask something like, which is the best tool for beginners uh, who want to build a simple app? Okay, so we did get our answer, so it's working, it's coming back in Markdown, which is often a problem that I have. But anyway, uh, all of these things are fixable. They're generally what happens, um, but it is obviously going to OpenAI and getting the answers. I'm not happy with these answers because I wouldn't recommend these tools for beginners. But anyway, I was planning to add my own information here into a database so that I can also use a database to test it out. So let's add a database. We don't actually need to add Superbase or anything. It's already in the tool. So let's try it out. Okay, I want to add a database with my knowledge, my specific knowledge about uh, this uh, prob topic. Uh, here it is. So I want the tool to actually be able to call the specific knowledge about vibe coding tools and use the open ai to fetch the knowledge and give me back an answer in plain english not markdown here is my specific knowledge okay so i just did some deep research with gemini and let's see how this gets on 
So this is obviously a bit more complex. I mean, you can do this stuff with Bolt and yeah, I've got other videos on the channel. Uh, so it'll be quite interesting to see how it gets on with this one. In the meantime, let's have a look around. So they have this thing called the architecture here. So this is the advisor. So as you add things like databases and agents and stuff, it keeps uh, growing and you can just see an overview of the project, right? You can see the infrastructure here all of the things uh, that you are using and you can connect to a uh, GitHub. Okay, so we, it's now finished. You can see that we have a database here uh, called Knowledge. So let's test it out now. Okay, so we'll just ask it something like, what's the best vibe coding tool for designing cool UIs? Let's see what it comes up with. If it's gonna work well, oh, we got an error. Okay, this is good. <laughs> we have an error. So one thing you can actually do is just click this fix with leap and it's just gonna just copy in the errors, right? Uh, and yeah, okay, and it fixed the error quite quickly. Uh, that's pretty nice, uh, just fixed it there for me. So actually the answer is exactly what I'd probably want. Orchids is actually coming out as the top um, design tool. Well, Orchids is number one, Bolt is number two apparently. So a really nice answer there. Um, one thing I suppose that I really like about Bolt and Lovable is you can actually copy in a design there into the box and then add it. So, well, I guess I can upload it here. Let's see if I try that. Okay, so I added in my design of one of my websites that I like to use. I redesigned the website in the style of the image above with uh, dark colors, nice blue and blacks. Uh, integrating together with a big prompt box in the middle for people to get started. Add some nice animations uh, and make it glass morphic, uh, make it glass morphic, okay. <laughs> Let's see if it does with this. So I am on the free plan. So I'd like to actually discuss the pricing of this versus the other ones. As you can see, I can do quite a bit so far. Like I've got <laughs> pretty much an AI chat agent with my own specialized knowledge already done in a few prompts. And some of the components, this was a, the first one that I made is like a note taker. If you look at this, it just looks really nice. I really like the actual design of the components. So this is definitely a tool worth checking out if you want to actually build like a proper web app. Uh, then I would definitely check this out. It's quite easy to get things done, you know, integrations and stuff like that. If you look at all the integrations here, some of this stuff is quite difficult to do with Bolt, you know, like Stripe, for example, uh, is really quite difficult, but they have an example prompt here. So you just copy that in and then it will prompt you for your Stripe keys and stuff like that. So I haven't tried that yet, but I think that would be super interesting to see. They have tons of integrations. So this should make it easier for you to add all of these uh, prompts and then you know these tools right paypal that would be amazing right to add to a lot of your apps okay so we got our design back it's not quite as good as the one that i created uh, of course uh, but yeah i mean obviously that could do with a bit of work i would say this is probably not one of the best design tools i mean my prompt probably wasn't amazing but uh, you can see this is one of my other websites that i built with bolt and it looks uh, very nice and you can see the way it looks it looks really really good i think in my opinion so yeah i mean uh, maybe it isn't the best for designing websites or uis um, but i'm sure if you're building a simple app then this would definitely work i really like uh, some of the features for sure then if you want to deploy your website you can actually deploy to amazon web services or google cloud platform so that gives you that extra bit you might may need to learn a little bit more about these tools but i mean it'll definitely be cheaper to deploy something to amazon web services and more secure if you want to deploy, then you can just deploy it on the Encore. That's the company behind this tool. But before you do that, you must um, save your change, right? And clears the context. So it'll just save all your changes and then you can click deploy. So now we can actually deploy our website. In terms of pricing, I mean, uh, Bolt has actually gotten more expensive. And I think the reason for that is that they will be hosting all of the websites and integrating Superbase, all the database. You won't need to connect to Superbase anymore and we'll have hopefully better models and it's just gonna get better and better. To be honest, Bolt is my favorite tool that I, I just use it all the time to build all my websites. So I'm super excited with the things that are coming this month and I'll make more videos about that if you wanna see. But yeah, it is getting a bit expensive at $50 a month. A minimum a lovable is $25 a month, but a lot of people, you know, will probably end up going up to the $50 if you really want to build a project. A lot of people complain about the pricing that it's getting quite expensive. And I mean, yeah, $50 is getting expensive, but I mean, you could build like a whole software tool for $50. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, that would have cost you last year 
five thousand, ten thousand dollars. So that's a big, big saving. I mean, if you really want to get into developing and stuff like that, it's probably better to use Claude Code and Cursor, things like that. But uh, this is great for getting MVPs done quickly, websites, all of that. Okay, so I got my website deployed, right? And you can even has these little buttons here. Pretty cool that you can do that and you get into a little chat. Obviously, I just created this very quickly, but it's still pretty amazing that you can get this done. I definitely think a website like this, which has its own knowledge base, I imagine so many companies would actually want something like this, that they put their own knowledge base. If they have any knowledge bases saved, then they could add this uh, to yeah their websites or something like that and add customer support, documentation, all that stuff. So many things you could do with something like this and super easy to make. You saw how quickly it took me three or four prompts is all it took and i deployed the whole website right so super easy to use in terms of pricing what i just did there took up about 25 percent of my free plan so it's quite generous if you think about it you could definitely even make a few websites on the free plan and then if you want to upgrade then you have like 30 dollars a month for 10 times more monthly tokens and yeah tons of plans there you can see so i recommend this tool leap.new if you are having trouble with some of the other tools and if you want to just make that really functional web app then it could be for you i've tested out a ton of these tools and to be honest this is one of the best that i've seen but there's lots coming with bolt.new and lovable this month so let's let's keep our eyes peeled i know things are changing but it is always good to just pick one if you if you have a project in mind and you're like okay i really want to make this project just pick one tool Go with it, complete the project, and then you can move on to learning about new stuff. That's it for now. My name is Connor Martin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you later.